Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to Xdex. Today I get the honor and privilege of teaching you a move that I did not create and I was fortunate enough to get permission from the creator himself. I will be teaching you a move called Backdrop by Kevin Ho of The Verts. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, everyone. So one of the cool things about Backdrop is that there are no prerequisites. It's actually one of the basics itself. Um, and let's jump into it. So I'm gonna walk you through the pulling off of the card, how to rotate it onto your hand and how to shoot it off because that's all part of the move and how it looks so good. Uh, at the end, I'll also teach you variations like how to do it into a rev cut, uh, how to do it into just pulling a card off, and how to do it into a charlet that opens and closes. But obviously they're not all consistent. I still mess things up, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So how you're gonna start is uh, hold the deck in dealer's grip, obviously, and you're just gonna be pulling one card with your thumb and you can go into about the middle. It kind of really doesn't matter where you grab it, uh, but you're just gonna be sliding it forward along the deck like this. Um, it is also potentially good just to know how to back palm, but you don't know how you don't have to know how to back palm to do this move. Um, we're just going to be using a similar grip to be launching it over. Now, I'll also tell you that I used to do it wrong. I used to do it like this. Uh, it's not the way that Kevin teaches it. It still gets the same effect, but you'll notice the difference. I put all three fingers underneath the card like this and just shot it over. The way Kevin does it is holds it in. A sort of back palm grip to lay it down then moves his thumb over to shoot it and i feel like that gives the most uh accuracy and springiness and after he taught me personally himself i was like yeah that's the superior way to do it but if you guys are struggling with that you can just do uh yep a slide it right into a grip where you shoot it off and lose the card anyway so what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and slide it up the deck you're going to take your index finger and your pinky finger and you're going to lay your fingers under like this you're going to grab index middle ring pinky and kind of grab like this and you'll rotate it over i'll show you how to do the grip it's kind of weird push your thumb forward and you're going to grab like this on the other side and what happens is when you're grabbing like this your pinky is going to go sideways and your index finger is going to go sideways and turn into a grip like that your middle and ring finger are going to push through on that lower side and it's going to turn into this now if you guys know how to back palm it's making a card vanish like that and you're using a similar grip. So if you wanted help and wanted just a leg up on everybody else, you could go learn that as well, but you don't have to. Uh, what's gonna happen is you're kind of gonna grab the card like this from your thumb so that the index and pinky are already on the side and then your middle and ring, right? Oop, almost lost the card. You're gonna push through like this while your fingers are rotating and pointing out. The card will be flipping. So in slow-mo, and the thumb can also help push the card up onto those fingers like from here like that. So the thumb can do this and the fingers can curl over the thumb. So the index and pinky are gonna grab this side. The thumb is going to help a little bit and then get out of the way. You're gonna be holding the card like this. So now you've got your middle and ring underneath the card and your index and your pinky on the side of the card. You're going to let it sit on top of your middle and ring and relax. You don't have to extend the fingers apart, but that's just kind of how you let it sit while the index slowly moves underneath the card and the thumb grabs it and applies some pressure. So it's bending over top like this. What happens is your thumb pulls the pressure out from underneath your pinky and it shoots over like that. So your card does a full rotation like this over onto the deck. Now you can play around with the pressure to see how far you can fling a card, um, but it only takes a little bit of pressure to pull it off of oh and sometimes you have not enough pressure but you can use a little bit of pressure just to shoot it off it doesn't take a ton if you really shoot it it'll go way over there so you don't have to feel like you add a ton of pressure just a little bit just to get it out from underneath the pinky is enough and you'll be able to practice it consistently guys that's pretty much the move so i'll go over it one more time in case you're confused and uh that's pretty much it so your thumb slides up interview index middle ring pinky grab underneath index and pinky kind of go on the sides the middle and ring push through, and here's what happens. You want the pinky a little bit further down and your index a little bit further down when you're curling these uh, cards in, because if they're just at the top, this is gonna be really hard to turn over. It's gonna be super hard. So you actually want your index further down, and you can almost go in like this underneath and grab it if you need to start. But what happens is you'll get used to doing this, and from I'll do it from the front angle, I guess. What happens is that is what it looks like and then you're able to flick it across. So the thumb slides up, so it goes over the deck. Your 
index and pinky kind of go like this, almost do a rock on sign and grab. So like to think of like an alien with two antenna. They're gonna come under like a slug's eyes and grab that while the middle and rings slip underneath it. And then your fingers all turn out. It lays flat on top like a platform. It's hooked a little underneath the pinky right here and the thumb pulls out to release it. And of course, I can't always do it consistently. It's also hard slower, guys. A lot of these moves, once you get them into speed, you'll see how this card just kind of swoops up and lands, and then my thumb just kind of launches it, which is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this practice. Thanks again to Kevin, and I'll see you guys uh, in the outro after the slow-mos. Hey guys, so before we jump into the slow-mos, I wanted to show you a couple ideas of what you can do with backdrop so that I'm not leaving you with just that move. So after you learn how to perform backdrop, just the normal one, what you can do is open up a Charlier or a thumb cut. Uh, I usually just open up a Charlier and shoot it in, or you can open up a revolution cut and shoot it in. Or what I do, if you guys know how to do this, you can take your thumb on the top and slide it over to the side, your ring and your pinky pull uh, the whole deck over and this card will slide under. So if you ever see someone do this, you can do that. Only you can leave the card here and shoot in the middle of that or you can shoot in a reclosing Charlie A. Hope you guys like those ideas and I'll see you in the slow-mos or in the outro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on Backdrop and thank you to Kevin Ho for allowing me to teach his move on this channel. If you guys want, go to Instagram, check out Visual Madness and Momentum Cards and that is his personal and his brand respectively. And we would love if you guys went and thanked him for me because he allowed me to teach this move on our channel. Without further ado, let's jump into some housekeeping. If you guys don't already know, I work for xdex.com, that is x dex and you guys can check us out online. If you want to pick up some cards from our store, we make our own, we resell rare decks of cards, we make a lo-fi deck, we make a Sukuyo deck which is a japanese themed deck and we would love your support when you guys buy cards from our store it helps support our website it helps support our youtube channel and helps you guys keep enjoying this content for free so if you want to help and support the store go pick some decks up from our website we'd love if you did so there's a link in the description and you can just type it into your browser also you can follow us on instagram at xdex rare cards i comment back on everything i run the instagram you guys can always message me i always message back and speaking of that you can also subscribe to our youtube channel where i always answer the comments so if you guys need help troubleshooting moves and doing other stuff like that we would love to help you guys grow in your cardistry uh, practice and if you need help learning a move that i made up then i would love to help you figure it out so also you can join our discord there's a link in the description for that and i'm still trying to figure out a day of the week at which um, i'll always be on there and essentially have like office hours for you if you guys are struggling with different moves you can hop on and get special one-on-one -on -one instruction from me or one in a group setting but that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for listening to all my rambling and my tutorial and i will see you guys in the next one bye